Yeah, so my name is Ivan Ramos. I'm assistant professor of women's studies at the University of Maryland. And today I was here in conversation with the Latina artist uh, Sandra Ibarra, uh, having a conversation about her work and about what it means more largely uh, in the context of Latinx art, um, just in general, in, in the context of her work. Yeah, so Sandra Ibarra has become a very significant uh, contemporary artist working within a number of genres. She's an interdisciplinary artist. Uh, began originally as a chica boom in the Bay Area burlesque scene in the early 2000s. And from there, she developed a number of performances which she calls spectacles, which are racialized burlesque performances that take Mexican racist tropes and which she reappropriated um, through kind of playing with them within the burlesque genre. And from there, she has continued to develop a more increasingly abstract art practice. Um, she has been working across a variety of medium, particularly photography, um, installation, and lately sculpture. And her work in general kind of looks at how um, the body or the racialized body is able to um, transform um, all of these sources of racist violence into something powerful, but without necessarily disowning that violence. Uh, she's very cognizant of the fact that um, taking up the work of other ethnic studies scholars like Antonio Villegos, um, that her body can never actually be behind these legacies, these histories of violence. And so her work is really invested in kind of repurposing that to a variety of means, even though her more recent work has kind of gone into a sculptural abstract uh, genres, partly because she's dealing with the fact that now she's finishing an MFA at Berkeley um, and her work has continued to evolve. And so she's wondering what it means to be a racialized artist when the things that she has investigated through her career have kind of perhaps become exhausted for her. I write about her work. I have written, one, I have published one essay on one of her performances, or her use of the Tapatio uh, hot sauce bottle, which she uses across a variety of performances uh, from an early burlesque performance. Uh, she always pairs it with a strap on. Um, and so I wrote an essay kind of thinking about one, the history of the tropes of the spicy Latina, uh, and trying to think about how her work uses this gusto, what I call a gustatory aesthetics to kind of recenter or make us think about how um, when one thinks about the Mexican immigrant or Mexicans within the U.S. context, um, you know, their presence is always uh, followed or framed around racist fears, as we have seen over the last few years, and yet nevertheless, uh, Mexican food is the number one kind of food in America. And so thinking about how she's using the hot sauce as both a thing that attracts people to Mexican food, but also a thing that makes it scary and spicy. Um, and she uses it in a variety of forms. And now I've been working on an essay on one of her latest performance pieces, Mute Laughing, in which she appears um, nude and breaks into this extended laughing, laughing fit, um, usually lasting 10 to 12 minutes. Um, she has performed this in a number of places, Los Angeles, San Juan, Puerto Rico, Mexico City. And in that case, I think about uh, what laughter does, what are the things that make laughter so powerful, especially when it makes the recipient of that laughter uncomfortable. And so, as a scholar writing about Latinx art, uh, Ibarra has definitely been one of my biggest interlocutors, inspirations, uh, and somebody whose work I'm invested in, just always trying to think about and promote about what she's doing, but also as work that really pushes my own boundaries in writing.